the risk of phreatic explosions is worrying they can kill. Who said that, guys? You will not believe when I tell you. It's getting crazier by the day. I keep shooting these videos out telling you, now this guy said it, this guy said it, this leading scientist said it, this one said it, this one said it. And still, I feel things are not moving. The only thing that is moving is the super volcano screaming at us with earthquakes, ground uplift. But guys, who said that? The INGV president. INGV, the Italian Institute, National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. They're sitting on the volcano. They're the ones with the most sophistic monitoring network probably in the world that are monitoring Campi Fligre on a millisecond basis, 24 seven. And now they have been very, very careful how they word things. But now there was a official press conference Fabio Florindo, the president of the INGV, he said to the hydro, to the hydrogeological risk commission of the chamber, the local chamber, he said, quote, the risk of phreatic explosions is worrying. They can kill high attention for the Pischiarelli area. This is where we see the Fumaroles, most of the epicenters, and the most of the land rise. He said, quote, at Campi Flegre, we have a national emergency, not a local, a national emergency, because a large eruption of the supervolcano Campi Flegre can have implications for the whole world, and it did so in the very past. So he says, quote again, the situation is worrying both from a seismic and volcanic risk point of view. And now they're suddenly changing the narrative and their wording. They have always spoken about the Brady seismic risk and it's normal, it's densely monitored, nothing to worry. And they didn't really mention the volcanic risk. But I think it's time they, they can't respect like businesses, building values, tourism. They need to tell the truth. He said further, quote, I'm interrupting him all the time, <laughs> but I really, this is important, guys. He said, the events that can occur are proportional to the tectonic structures or geology from the models made, and I have reported about all these studies, we can hardly go beyond magnitude 5.5 because this is a volcano. That should be the maximum limit. And I've reported about this. Experts are saying, many, many experts, structural engineers, magnitude 5 already is enough to collapse the buildings in the greater Naples area and end hundreds of thousands. He further says, but the thing that worries most are phreatic explosions slash eruptions that do not involve magma. They throw into the air basically everything they can find on the surface like rockets. You cannot outrun those. Maybe you remember the tragedy of White Island in New Zealand. And he said it. They can end you. And they can also be of considerable size. And I have to add, I said it in my previous videos, the evidence for the last eruption that created the Monte Nuovo mountain, that crater, first a phreatic eruption with no warning, and that opened the tunnel for the magmatic eruption that followed. So only phreatic eruption, yeah, but what comes after? So he's the president of the INGV and guys, really, I'm, I can't say excited because this is a tragic topic, but yeah, I am excited that they're finally saying things like that. And not only their leading scientists, they're saying, I'm speaking outside of my position for the INGV. So he said that during a hearing 
at the Parliamentary Commission of Inquiry on the Hydrogeological and Seismic Risk of the Italian Territory on the implementation of prevention and safety regulations and on emergency and reconstruction interventions following the calamitous events that have occurred since 2019 that took place, also especially July 2nd with the 4.6. So that was <laughs> quite a wording how these commissions are named, but I think you get what what this means. This is big. INGV constantly monitors Italy, but they also have developed hazard maps. And these hazard maps are used by the civil protection to prepare plans for the various risk scenarios. But in the case of Campi Fligri, they, they constantly have to redo them. They have now allocated 50 million to make improvements. They're also building um, an evacuation route for the red zone, basically for Pozzuoli, straight up to the uh, Tangenziale, to the, to the highway that is supposed to be the main escape route in case of a potential eruption or a major earthquake if there's warning time, right? But he says Campi Flegri is a national emergency. That's a big word, guys. It's a big word. And he explained to that commission. You see him here in the picture. He said in Naples, we have a national emergency of the Campi Flegri, the burning fields, an area with more than 6 million people. He further says we have danger scenarios on the probability of the opening of eruptive vents. That means of eruptions in the Campi Flegri area. And he says these scenarios should tell us where they could develop. But now, since they just had that 4.6 magnitude earthquake at a location that was completely out of line, and in addition, it was the largest earthquake ever recorded since the last eruption. So what he says is they have developed maps with two different systems that come to the same conclusion, that give the same scenario the critical area that they need to keep under special observation is Astroni Agnano. That's the area. He says, these are his words. It is worrying. It is the same area where all these pyroclastic flows in the past have happened. There is a 40 to 50% chance that the opening of vents with emission of pyroclastic flows falls in this area. Translate, phreatic eruption could happen, could re origin in this area. Still, he says, well, we don't have conclusive evidence at the moment that magma is rising to a point that it's very close to an eruption. So he thinks, the INGV thinks, this is the area where it is probable that in the event of an eruption, the eruptive vents would open there, meaning the eruption would take place there. And he further says, well, when it comes to the Campi Fligri, the Fligrian fields, the situation is worrying, both from the seismic point of view um, and, of, and regarding the volcanic risk. Unfortunately, he says, it is an active volcanic area. There, and there's not a, one single crater mouth. There's many, right? And he further says, and at the moment, it is certainly not in a state of calm. There has been the Brady seismic for 20 years. At the moment, the land rise, the ground uplift is 1.5 centimeters per month after recent peaks that were like three centimeters per month in the second part of February when there was this ongoing massive earthquake swarm. He says, as long as the ground continues to rise to uplift, 
we will have these seismic shocks, how he calls them. And he says the events that can occur are proportional to the tectonic structures or the geology. Among the problems that he highlights from all this, he says that the accumulation of damage due to these continuous tremors is massive. Because these buildings, these old buildings, are under constant stress from these ongoing tremors. And he says when there are events like the one with the magnitude 4.6, the damage to buildings accumulates definitely to those buildings that are already in precarious situations. Experts are saying many, many buildings in Naples, they just stand, still stand because they're leaning on each other. There's no grout left between the bricks. It's dust. They're so old. And he says the most damaged buildings could collapse. And in the event of a magnitude 5, this would be, unfortunately, a lot of buildings. And then he further says, that's interesting, he says, we're checking these buildings, but many people refuse to have their homes checked. Are they afraid that their homes might be declared uninhabitable so that they would have to be evacuated? And exactly that's what he says. The people are afraid of being evicted. This is sad. And he says this is a problem. He said it's so important to see not just a small part, but if a load-bearing portion of the building is damaged, you, we have to look at that. And even in smaller earthquakes, we saw ceilings collapse on a woman. She was unharmed, but we saw partially collapses and, and structural damages. So this is real. But he says, he makes it clear when he speaks to that commission, the biggest problem for the INGV are the phreatic explosions beyond pyroclastic flows. The phreatic explosions that do not involve magma in the first place. We know, he says, that there is magma. There is a magma chamber. And there's debate on a second magma chamber. So one at possibly eight kilometers and recent studies confirm one at roughly three kilometers depth. So very shallow, but smaller. And he says, if there is magma movement, there's a warning of only a few hours, maybe only a few days, maybe nothing like before the Monte Nuovo eruption. He said, but we expect the uplift to be much greater before that happens. He said, when Monte Nuovo erupted in 1538, the area rose by meters a few months before the eruption. So hopefully it's going to be the same again, should that happen. But he said, these phreatic eruptions, they are linked to heated gases under pressure that are situated above the magma chamber. If they come into contact with the hydrothermal system, with water, with aquifers at normal temperatures, these explosions occur and they can end life. And he says, he makes it clear, phreatic explosions do not give warning, they're instantaneous. And he says, I am concerned about the Pischiarelli area, where there are very high temperatures. And he said, a colleague with a drone estimated temperatures from the Fumaroles over 140 degrees centigrade. He says that area is very fractured and historical times had phreatic explosions. So, boof, here we have it. More bad news. Check out this video here in the end screen, what Mario Tozzi had to say. Also very, very interesting, guys. And check out my Campi Fligri playlist for all the recent studies. So if you want to understand more how dire the situation is. But check out what's going on in Japan. This is a similar scenario like Santorini. So this is an ongoing situation in Japan. 
So here is the video in the end screen. I see you there, guys. If you want to support the channel, go to the links in the description. You can buy me a coffee to keep me going. I will answer with a video message. Click the join button to become a monthly member here on YouTube. I'll give you behind the scene videos for that. And thanks for your supers and thanks for your support, your comments, your liking the video and your being here. I see you safe and sound, hopefully. Bye-bye.